Hey, listen, today we're going to show you how to make a few fun and easy drinks using cold brew. And they're low calorie too. Find out more here on Bean Basics. Oh, hey there. Welcome to Bean Basics with Bob and Michelle. Welcome to Sunny Saga Tuck and welcome to the Obus Lab. Hey, listen, today we're talking about cold brew again. Uh, not too long ago, I showed you how to use the Presto Dorothy cold brew maker. With right? a super duper uh, uh, funnel. Oh, Tornado. Tornado. That's why it's called the Dorothy. That's but anyway. Right. Uh, but, you know, as we were doing that episode, I was saying to Michelle, I've got to show people what I do with, you know, the leftovers uh, kind of thing. So uh, this is really a recipe uh, idea for you. But let me just go ahead and get started. So normally, and, and the advantage of the press, though, of course, we'll put that episode up here so you can take a look at it. You can make cold brew in only an hour. I do have other cold brew recipes, and we'll, not recipes, methods, and we'll put those up there, too. Uh, but when, you know, the Dorothy is done, you would normally just, hey, go ahead and pour yourself a glass of uh, cold brew and you'd be done. And if I were doing two, we'd use it up to here, there'd be just a little bit left over. Um, and my recommendation for you with those leftovers is to put them in an ice cube tray. Okay. Now, you know, I just get these trays at the local uh, Save-A-Lot grocery store down the road. These aren't expensive. They aren't special. Uh, but what I do with some of my leftovers is I just go ahead and fill the ice cube tray up and put it in the freezer. And I love these because uh, they, don't, they don't oxidize too much. Next day, I pop them out, put them in a bowl, and, uh, and sort of aggregate them for a while. But uh, let me put this to the side here for a moment. We've been known to use them in many of our coffee cocktails too. We've used them in our coffee cocktails. I mean, not cold brew ice cubes. True. Coffee. Ice coffee ice cubes. And, and is one better than the other? I have an opinion. <laughs> right now we're talking about cold brew uh, ice cubes. But this is a good trick for leftover hot coffee, uh, for leftover iced coffee, or leftover cold brew. Any of those uh, cubes would work in this particular recipe, all right? Uh, and it, it's really simple. So what I'm going to show you how to make is what Michelle and I call a... Spotted cow. A spotted cow, that's right. And so we have all these, and you'll see they're sort of pretty and fun, all these uh, cold brew ice cubes. And by the way... Uh, on your regular cold brew, let's say you don't like the way the ice dilutes the drink. Well, you could use these ice cubes in there instead, right? So, but let me get back to the Spotted Cow recipe. So it's super easy uh, to make. Um, and you just fill this up with ice cubes and hope it doesn't take forever and then some. <laughs> and... You know, in the case of uh, Michelle, she likes a little sweeten sweetener in hers. And technically she likes stevia, but uh, I'm going to put a little of our uh, vanilla sugar in there. Which is just baker's sugar with uh, vanilla beans in, right? Yeah, totally. I mean, you can see there's a vanilla bean right in there. And you can keep that vanilla bean in and keep refilling that baker's sugar on top. But the advantage of the baker's sugar is it dissolves really easy in a in a cold beverage you know so uh, you don't have to put this sweetener in there it's not necessary it is nice to have the vanilla sugar that's for sure it gives it that uh i don't know je ne sais quoi uh, je ne sais quoi it would be a great way to put that right and i'm just going to put uh, milk on top of this and and this is about 14 ounces of milk right here i don't think we're going to use a half a cup which would probably uh you know, not be more than 60 calories or something like that, 60, 70 calories. So uh, this one's skim milk, so it's not whole milk. It's 2%. Oh, it's 2%? It is 2%. That's right. 
This one says 37% less fat than whole milk. But right here, you're right, it says 2%. Okay, and so, well, you're going to get the idea of the spotted cow because right away uh, through the milk, you can see these little dots, the dots of the frozen cold brew ice cubes. Now, the longer uh, you let this sit, the stronger this drink will be, right? And it's, it's, a really, it's a really fun journey. So like right now, if I drink it, it'll sort of have a light cold brew flavor to it. But as the ice melts more and more and more, it's not ice, it's cold brew, the coffee flavor gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Now, some people don't like that kind of journey, you know, where the profile of your drink is going to change from the start to the finish. But I happen to love that kind of adventure. Particularly when it gets stronger, the longer you drink it. Yeah, right. right. You know, and um, now this is optional. Okay. Ready whip. I always get the one. This is extra creamy because what that means is that they use heavy cream. Okay. And heavy cream and whipped cream just taste that much better. Right. And two tablespoons is only 15 calories. Right. So it's mostly air. <laughs> right? Uh, but shake four times, turn upside down, and, you know, we'll do the very traditional uh, Big V style whipped cream. And you just have a, a really fun afternoon snack. Yeah, you know? it's, like, it's like dessert, too. It's really good. It's totally like dessert. It's totally like dessert and a cup of coffee. But by the way, you get some protein in the deal. You can skip the sugars if you want. It's up to you. And then in with a straw. <laughs> in with a straw, right? Beautiful drink. Okay. So that's the spotted cow. But I've got some other ones that are derivatives of that. And uh, this one is called a... Brown cow. A brown cow. That's right. How now, brown How cow? How now, brown cow? And you can imagine that uh, it's the same idea, right? We're going to use our uh, cold brew ice cubes fill up the glass, but in this particular case, we are going to use chocolate milk. Yummy, right? And, yeah, yeah. you know, as adults, do we really drink chocolate milk? No, right? But coffee in the form of cold brew, milk plus chocolate. You're getting close to having a mocha here in this brown cow, right? And there, there is a little more calories in this. So one, one cup of uh, uh, chocolate, milk. chocolate milk, thank you, it's 210 calories. You're only using about a half a cup in a glass like this, okay, about a half a cup. So it'd be 110 calories. You don't need to add the sugar that I put in for the spotted cow, that's for sure. And you get like the taste of a mocha, right? And so here is a brown cow. Same idea. So, you know, the longer you have it, uh, the longer you sort of coddle this drink in your hands, uh, the, the cold brew um, cubes will melt and it'll taste more and more like coffee. But, but what a great treat. I'm going to put whipped cream on this one too because... You can. You can. Besides, and it'll make it even more delicious. Absolutely. And then, you know, if you got chocolate in it, and you got whipped cream. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta dust it. This is a little bit overkill right here, but you, you gotta dust it with a little um, chocolate, right? Mm. Chocolate topping. So you know, I got a little Chiradelli's uh, cocoa here, and it will just require one firm tap. There we go. How beautiful is that? It's beautiful. All right. I mean. You might really be able to impress some guests by whipping up these kinds of drinks. I mean, they come in the door and you say, hey, listen, I'm making either a spotted cow, a brown cow, or for the third drink, we have a third one. This is almost over. Okay. <laughs> We're going to have the same start, right? Oh, run away. And we're going to fill up with our cold brew ice cubes, you know, and all the stuff. Uh, really takes uh, no effort whatsoever. You're using a little bit of uh, leftover cold brew in your ice cube tray, and away you go. You can put as many cubes in there uh, as you want. But this time, I'm going to use a plant-based uh, milk, and this one's oat milk. And out of all the plant-based, right, so like there's 
almond milk and there's coconut milk and so on and so forth. I generally think the oat is best for you. That's my personal opinion. Now this one, as many of them are, is already flavored with vanilla, right? And, and when I look at these ingredients here, I can see they do have added sugars, right? So we don't, again, we don't need our vanilla sugar like we did with the spotted cow. We didn't put any extra sugar in the brown cow. And uh, one cup of this is 90 calories, right? So you're only putting in about 45 calories, right? The, 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 the cold brew ice cubes, they don't have any calories. As a matter of fact, you might have burned calories making them. <laughs> you never know. Now, the name of this drink is? The Impossible Cow. That's right, the Impossible Cow. We had to really think about that one for a long time. It, you might also call it the Invisible Cow because there's actually no cow involved. Oh, right. It could be the Invisible Cow. I like the idea of calling it the Impossible Cow. So, yeah, you're offering your guests a spotted cow, a brown cow, or an Impossible Cow. Now, I'm going to do something that's sacrilegious, right? I'm using a plant-based uh, milk, but I'm going to put whipped cream on top because I have to. It looks pretty. Now, you can get plant-based whipped creams, too. I just don't happen to have that with me today. And frankly, you know, this whole idea of a dusting of chocolate, I think, works on any beverage, whether it has chocolate in it or not. Give me a second. Boom. Beautiful. So, after I get my straw in, what we have here is three easy, simple ways to use leftover cold brew. I hope you do. Michelle, you've tried all these, and what do you think? Oh, I think they're fabulous. Like, uh, <laughs> instead of having an afternoon snack, I love to pour myself one of those. And if I'm feeling really racy, it'll be the, uh, the brown cow. Now, what time of day do you have an afternoon snack? 3.30ish. 3.30 lines up with the old circadian rhythm. It makes sense all together. It's like, I'm going to have this and a little caffeine or I'm going to take a nap. Actually, I read a study the other day that said you should take naps, right? And it should be around three o'clock. But the thing you should do before you take a nap is drink a cup of coffee. <laughs> and so you drink a cup of coffee, you take a 20 minute nap. And what that coffee, it, it, it takes 20 minutes for coffee to metabolize in your system. So when you wake up, you wake up alert and ready to go and not sluggish. Beautiful. It's beautiful. All right. On that note, I think we got to get out of here. So if you'll start us off. When you love the world. The world will love you right back. Hey, thanks for joining us. For future episodes, click the subscribe button. Bean Basics is brought to you by OneBigIslandInSpace.com with two Gs.